Adventures Almanac, 1st Edition, by Scordo the Knife. If you're like me, or you want to be like me, which is understandable, you've got talents people want. More importantly, talents people will pay for. Demand for people like us is high these days, so I took the trouble of writing down my best leads. Why? I couldn't take all these jobs if I wanted to, and selling these books is a nice little score on the side. If you stole this book, go and pay for it. Unless it it's in a lending library, then steal it and we'll call it a square. Moochers. Crafting writs. They don't call me the knife on account for my forge work, but when I'm in town between jobs, it pays to check the notice boards. Grab a writ, hammer on some things, get paid, and find the tavern. Easy money. Guilds. Easiest route to steady work, join a guild. It's what they're there for. They might seem obvious and stupid to put in my book. Almanacs cover everything. Stupid. If you like solving problems with violence, legally, the Fighters Guild has you covered. Plus, they've got guild halls all over Tamriel. I don't endorse that legal sort of killing, but I hear the Dark Brotherhood accepts all kinds of murder contracts for hire. Maybe blood isn't your thing, but riches definitely are. I could say, hypothetically, there might be a sort of thieves guild that organizes that sort of sneaky business. Again, Almanac just being thorough here. The Mage's Guild may seem exclusive, but they got needs too, so pay them a visit even if sorcery isn't your thing. They've got locations in most cities. Now if you're looking for a big score, and maybe don't got a lot of sense, go get in the good graces of the, of the Indaunted. They've got enclaves in the major capitals and treasure piled high, higher than Red Mountain that they're just itching to give away, provided you're crazy enough to do what they ask you to earn it. War. The three armies never stop fighting. Throw your law in with an alliance. Get this to Cyrodiil and the Imperial City and reap the spoils. Plenty to go around for the victors. And don't forget, folks, in, these, in those war-torn regions need more help than anybody. Whether you want to charge them for is your business, but there is always towns out there in need of some help. Regions of interest? Some places just have more need for people like us than others. I don't just visit Rathgar because it reminds me of home. Orsinium has got a big demand for tough types to go out and pacify the wilderness, and while I can't say it's conventionally profitable, Kragalorn is such a crazy place that half the time the stars are falling and the other it's raining treasure. Don't forget to check the boards on the way out of town, too. At least on the Gold Coast and in Hughesbane. Bounties and all sorts of other odd jobs find their way onto the boards from folks who aren't picky about who solves their problems. The last word. There you go. All the ways I know how to keep busy in this business. I'm not saying you've got to do all this stuff every day, but you could if you wanted to. And don't value, don't value sleep. Don't go thinking you can buy this co copy and be done with it. Times change, and when they do, score to the knife's going to write it down. Save up. Tips cut. Welcome. Adventures Almanac 2nd Edition by Score to the Knife. Welcome back, scabs. Bet you thought i never have enough material to write a second one of these. You'd be wrong, of course, because here we go again. Far be it from me to overlook a chance to educate the next generation of meat puppets, lining up to make us few drakes. Fardenfell. This dusty heap of rocks and mushrooms features some prime pickings for the discerning mercenary if you can get over how orn ornery the dr dark elves can get about their gods and their dead relatives. You can score some choice jobs from the f their fixers in the Hall of Justice in Vivek City. And tell Treylan he still owes me gold for the last card game he cheated his arse off to win. Clockwork City, look... I'm not saying this place exists, but I know a guy who says it does, and if you can get inside, there's plenty of work to be done that the creepy locals ain't got time to deal with, or consider beneath their interest. You know, I don't care. People look down on us orcs all the time, but are happy to open their pouches when they need something's head smashed in. Losers. Pit fights. Now we're talking. You hear about the those new fighting leagues they opened up recently? Love it action, bloodshed, beatdowns, and winners take all. Just don't get, just don't you know, lose. You'll get pitted against the best of the worst and the worst of the worst. You ever see a guy just run around in a fighting arena trying to figure out which end of his sword goes in the other jerk? 
It's a wonder those mooks can get into their armor. I always put my gold on the pit daemons by the by. East, easy money long as there ain't an Argonian on their team. What are you going to do? Breathe underwater? Ha. And we're done. That's all you get from me this time, Tusk Bait. Maybe next time Uncle Scordo will serenade you with his awesome knowledge and experience once you, he finds out where the next bunch of jobs happens to be. Just don't horn in on my work if I'm on the same contract, you hear? Stay frosty, oh yeah, and tusk off, you losers. Adventures Almanac, 3rd edition. By Scordo the Knife. Another day, another Drake. That's the way I look at it, and you should too if you've got any sense. So listen up, Papa Scordo's got more wisdom to sell along with his sword. Here are my latest leads for the discerning mercenary. Somerset. The high and mighty elves of Somerset have finally deigned to let us mere mortals set foot on their unspoiled soil. But don't believe all the sugar-coated twaddle. The place has a heap of troubles. Ju Justice Cars and Alinor are practically begging for competent mercenaries to come show them how it's done. Merkmeyer. You ever hear of Cyrodelic collections? Me neither. Not until they started throwing gold around like King Jurin in a bod house. I don't know where they're getting their financing, but they pay their dues on time. When you get to Little Moth, tell them Squirtle sent you. I want my cut. If running errands for a bunch of mud panners doesn't excite you, the Deadwater tribe is organizing death hunts for some of the nastiest things in Merkmile. It'll get your blood pumping out of your neck if you're not careful. Maybe the idea of wading through a bog getting eaten alive by bugs doesn't appeal. Can't imagine why. You can still get your dainty hands on some of that easy Cyrodiil collection's gold. You can find an Argonian organizing supplies for the expedition goes by G. Lar. He'll talk to talk your ear off if you let him, but he always got something that needs doing. Dragons. Finally, they're tusky tusking dragons raging across elsewhere if you you're just getting this news from me get out from under the rock you call home and get to work the northern elsewhere defense force is recruiting any help they can get for their war effort against the scaly bastards they got people stationed in Grotwood north of Cormont now I ain't heard much more than rumors about dragon hunting but you can Bet there's someone out there itching to bag a dragon and willing to offer a reward. Personally, you couldn't pay me enough to tangle with one of those flying murder lizards, though you're welcome to try. There you have it, plenty of work for an enterprising adventurer for hire. Remember Papa Squirta when you strike it rich, and if you strike it dead, go haunt the sore, sorry sack who taught you to fight.